Hello, my dear students. I hope you're doing fine at home. My name is Miss Camila, and today we're going to talk about inventions and their impact in society, part three. The objective is to answer listening comprehension questions. So, what is a dumb invention? A dumb invention is an invention that is pointless. It has no real purpose. This invention can actually work, but doesn't fulfill any necessity. So, here's the activity. Watch the video, Another Top 10 Dumbest Inventions. Answer the questions after watching the video. Send the activity to our email, english.cmhn at gmail.com, with your name and grade. If you have any questions about the activity or the contents, remember you can ask questions during the online sessions, or you can send us an email and we'll answer you as soon as possible. Oscar Wilde once said, we live in an age when unnecessary things are our only necessities. Sounds about right. Welcome to WatchModule.com, and today we're counting down our picks for another Top 10 Dumbest Inventions. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're taking a look at even more gadgets that left people asking, who the hell asked for that? If you didn't see an invention you thought should be on the list, be sure to check out our first video of the Top 10 Dumbest Inventions. But uh, just looking at the quality of the towel, I mean, it's not horrible. It's kind of thin. Number 10. Nice cup in bra. Apparently, golf has become so popular in Japan that women want to work on their putting skills while on the go. Enter Triumph International Japan's golf putting bra. This lingerie can transform into a five foot long putting mat with two cups acting as holes. If that's not kooky enough, the bra comes equipped with a built in speaker that'll say, Nice shot. It's a portable putting course. <laughs> The package even includes a skirt that turns into a flag reading, be quiet. The golf putting bra is a fashion disaster, looking like a piece of carpet with two pie cans glued on. Fashion aside, what are women supposed to wear under this ensemble? Are they expected to just play golf in the nude? Nice shot. Is one of the rules in this game you need to keep your balls out of other people's way? <laughs> Number nine. The iPoddy. And then you get rid of it. Let them focus on what they're doing and learn how. So you don't. And have to hasn't the them. magazine industry taken a hit hard enough? <laughs> I mean, as much as we love swiping, tapping, and checking our media feeds, the iPoddy may be proof that technology has gone too far. This potty bowl comes complete with an adjustable stand, so your child can play on the iPad while toilet training. It's hard to say what's crazier: this product existing or the fact that there are toilet training apps now. The campaign for a commercial-free child childhood named the iPoddy the worst toy of 2013, claiming it's more likely to distract children than help. Well, at least it includes a touchscreen cover to prevent the iPad from getting, uh, dirty. But then, the fact that it requires a protective cover is a good indicator that the iPoddy may not be a great idea. Don't tune out, I'm not gonna demo this myself. Number 8. The Behringer iNuke Boom. This is an 8 foot long iPhone dock, and let me tell you, it pumps out 10,000 watts of power iPods are so convenient because they fit right in your pocket. So why make an iPod dock that's the size of a Volkswagen? Looking like something out of the cartooniest of cartoons, Behringer's iNuke Boom is four feet tall, eight feet wide, and weighs in at something between 700 and 900 pounds. And this is the world's loudest speaker as well. <laughs> it's 10,000 watts! What? 10,000! Taking it up to 11 is one thing, but there's a very limited pool of people who wouldn't call this overkill. One louder. Why don't you just make 10 louder and make 10 be the top number and make that a little louder? Didn't anybody at Behringer realize that nobody in their right mind would pay $30,000 for this monstrosity? Maybe that's why they dialed it down with the iNuke Boom Jr. Number 7. The Freedom Flask if you want to discreetly smuggle some booze into an alcohol-free zone, the Freedom Flask is not the tool for you. And you're drinking wine out of a soda can. Yeah. Oh, you put wine in the soda You didn't can. know, did you? Uh, That's good. You stole soda. Frank's idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where to begin? Well, for starters, it looks like a urine sack for hospital patients that can't control their bladders. The fact that you're supposed to dispense beer from your crotch makes it all the more suggestive. I mean, I heard a party in your pants before, but this is going way too far now. And whether people think you're sneaking a drink, urinating in public, or sneaking a drink of urine in public, you're gonna attract some unwanted attention. You'd actually have an easier time hiding your alcohol with a regular flask. 
The Freedom Flask just makes matters needlessly complicated while also making you look ridiculous. Number 6. The USB Pet Rock Many people would argue that the Pet Rock is already a pretty stupid idea. See that? Huh? Huh? Bad Rock! Bad! We do that outside! After all, it doesn't eat, it doesn't move, and it serves no purpose whatsoever. Its very existence is a joke, plain and simple. The USB Pet Rock takes the stupidity to a whole new level, however. This invention is essentially like every other Pet Rock. The only difference is that this one comes with a USB cable. Why? Why not? Plug it into your laptop and literally nothing will happen. The product description on Amazon.com even states up front, quote, These USB pet rocks don't do a dang thing, except make you smile. Well, at least they're honest. It's a pet rock. What's it do? Um, it rocks. Number 5. Phone Fingers Getting fingerprints on your iPhone is the definition of a first world problem. No, 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 no. Hey, 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 Frank. Get your greasy, fat sausage fingers off my touchscreen phone. Even if you're a stickler when it comes to smudges, phone fingers aren't the answer. As you might have guessed, these latex accessories cover up your fingertips in order to keep your touchscreen spotless. These things are fashion eyesores that practically invite other people to mock you. They make it look like you're wearing half a glove. So why not just buy a pair of touchscreen gloves instead? On top of that, is putting the phone fingers on really worth the extra effort? Wiping off your touchscreen with a cloth is not only quicker, but more efficient too. Number 4. The Sound Bubble, also known as the Speech Bubble. How much do you know about chaos? What did you say, sir? <laughs> Don't you hate it when you're trying to have a conversation at a bar, but everyone else in the bar is too loud? Well, Scottish inventor Elaine McCluskey came up with a totally asinine solution. The sound bubble is basically a giant plastic helmet with giant mouth and ear holes. This ridiculous headgear is supposed to eliminate any background noise. But how are two people supposed to have a casual conversation while wearing something so ludicrous and uncomfortable? They'd probably have an easier time just screaming over the rest of the crowd. It shouldn't come as a surprise that the sound bubble received a mostly negative response, with many calling it a bubble-headed idea. Why are you in that bubble, boy? Number 3. Cush Sleeping on your side without proper breast support can be a major culprit. How did anyone involved in marketing this thing keep a straight face? A cushion for your cleavage. Cush is supposed to keep your breasts separated while you sleep. Intended for women with larger boobs, it apparently decreases chest wrinkles. I got them heavy boobs, heavy boobs, dance like dying stars, I got them heavy boobs. However, many reviews have argued that this breast cushion is ineffective. It's hard to keep cushion place overnight without wearing a bra. The product is also likely to cause excessive sweating and discomfort. And let's just address the elephant in the room. It looks like a dildo, and stuffing it in your rack doesn't help. Was this intended to be a gag gift, or were the inventors actually serious? Shit, there's a dildo in my drawer. Oh my god, you could have asked me if you wanted to borrow it. Number 2. The Beer Pager <laughs> Nice! The Beer Pager is marketed to people that aren't smart enough to keep track of their drinks. Described as the clapper for drunks, this drink holder comes with a pocket-sized remote control. When you press the button, the beer pager will emit flashing lights and lead the user back to their beverage. What a time to be alive! To be fair, it's clear that the people behind this invention knew it was a stupid idea. They practically satirized their own product while selling it to you. Laughs aside, though, it's hard to imagine anyone getting any real use out of the beer pager, except maybe Homer Simpson. I was thinking along the lines of no TV and no beer make Homer something something. Before we get to our top pick, here are some honorable, or in this case, dishonorable mentions. The curiosity generated by this new point of view leads our self-focused friends out into a much wider world, and that leads to disaster. Number 1. Doc Bottoms A Spray It's pronounced A Spray, but the creators might as well have put an extra S in there. The infomercial for this body odor spray is about as subtle as a fart in an elevator. <laughs> As a matter of fact, MSNBC pulled the commercial after airing it just once.
but since then, it's become a YouTube sensation. Doc Bottoms' ace spray claims to go where deodorant can't, conquering pungent pits, foul feet, and beastly butts. How do you stop the stink? Hi, I'm Adam J, and this is Doc Bottom's Ace Spray. However, we're half convinced that this invention solely exists to inspire face palms. Let's just take the laughable name and shocking ads out of the equation and ask, does Ace Spray at least work? Well, the product is apparently no longer being sold anywhere, so we guess not. And here are the questions for the activity. Take care and stay safe. Bye.